Hello everyone, uh, I'm Chani Stuck from Sabanji University's International Relations Office. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to apply to Sabanji University and everything that happens after your application. We're going to start off by showing you our website where you can find relevant information such as requirements. Then we will move on to the application page itself and show you step by step how you can apply to the university and answer questions that you might have on that front. Once that's done, we'll move on to something that's maybe as important as the application itself, and we'll talk about what happens once you're done with the application. So how the scholarship evaluations go, how your admission process is going to be, how long the university will get take to turn back to you, etc., etc. Once that is done, we will move on to talking about orientation, registrations. Basically, we're going to cover everything from the first visit to the Tabanji University website to hopefully your first class at the university itself when the university opens in autumn. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so we are at our main page at the moment of Sabanji University. Uh, you can already see the undergraduate applications link here on the main banner. So in the prospect of undergraduate student website, you can see a variety of different links on the right side. You can already see the apply now button on the bottom left. Uh, but on the right, uh, starting from the top, you can see our application requirements, a little guide on how to apply, the program list of all the programs that we offer at Sabanji University, information about scholarships and tuition fees, the required exam and diplomas list, uh, frequently asked questions, the ask us section where you can reach us for any of your questions that you might have that this video does not answer, the student blogs. When you scroll down, you can see our student testimonial videos, which might be of great interest to you, especially as it contains a lot of information from existing students about their experiences at Sabanji University. Thank you can also scroll down further on the website to find even more links about relevant information about the university. Perhaps the most important page here to check before you start your application is the required exam and diplomas list. In this list, you can see country by country whether the education system that you have followed is accepted at Sabanji University for applications or not. One thing that is important to keep in mind when you're checking the list is to note the difference between international exams and national exams. At the very top of the list, you can see various international exams that we accept, such as the SAT, A-levels, IB systems, and other more localized exams, such as the WIAC. Make sure, please, to check the international tab first to see if the requirement that you fulfill is listed there. And if not, you can go below and again, as I said, country by country, you can see whether your direct education system is also recognized and accepted by Sabanji University. Another important tip before you make your application is to make sure that you have all your documents ready before you open the application system. You will be asked to upload your files when you're applying to the university. We will talk about the uploading system later on as well in the video. But for now, the required documents for application to Sabanji University are a copy of your exam or diploma result that is accepted by the university. You can check the link from the exam list that we mentioned before. If available, the copy of your high school diploma. If you are not graduated yet, this is optional, so do not be worried. Your official transcript showing all the courses that you have taken during your entire high school education period. If you have not graduated yet, this is also optional. Your official transcript showing all the courses and grades that you have taken so far in your high school education. If you have taken such an exam before, a copy of your international language proficiency exam score that Sabanj University accepts. You can find the exams that we accept in the link that you can see on your screen at the moment. If available, your letters of recommendation, your statement of purpose or letter of motivation, and any extracurricular certificates. These could be anything ranging from sports activities to clubs that you have joined to work experience that you might already have. Anything that you feel might be relevant is likely to be accepted by the university as well. Some warnings before we start. First of all, please remember that we only require the soft copies of your documents during the application. But eventually, when you're coming for registration, you will need to bring the original versions of your documents with you as well. When you're filling the online application form, please make sure to fill each section carefully and correctly. This is especially true for the phone number and email address information, as this will be the channels of communication through which the university will reach you during the admission process. 
Finally, please make sure that you state your scholarship expectation properly in the application form. All that said, let's now move on to the online application form itself. On the website, you can fill out the application form. Uh, it is quite an easy form and we'll go over the form quickly together now. As you can see, it will require you to write some basic information to start with, your name, uh, your gender, your date of birth, your marital status, your citizenship. Uh, on the citizenship side, please do mention if you have Turkish citizenship, because this could be quite important due to legal matters. And this is especially correct also if you completed high school outside of Turkey. Uh, if you did study in Turkey, please mention it as it is also important. As we move on, you can fulfill the other sections. The Turkish or Northern Cyprus Cyprus citizenship data is also important. If you have a Turkish or Northern Cyprus citizenship, please mention this. Same goes for the blue card. These are all important for registration related purposes. We do often call candidates to get in touch with them with regards to the application. So please make sure that you write your phone number and your mobile correctly. And then this goes double for your email addresses. We will be getting you in touch with you primarily by email. It is quite significant for the university that your primary email is actually your email. The primary email should not be a representative or a family member as there will be important information that reaches you. For those kinds of email addresses, you can use your alternate email. On the home address, we generally prefer students to write this country and the address that they are currently living in, obviously. Uh, if you have multiple addresses, we suggest that you choose the country where you're studying in. Once you fill this page, you can log on. In this next page, there will be some questions that are about your education background, uh, your high school information uh, is quite relevant because we do keep track of this data. Uh, but do not stress too much about the date that you're writing. You do not have to be very specific. Uh, in the diplomas and exam sections, you're going to re be required to write in the application, the system that you're applying through, specific education system. Uh, please note that if you are applying through SAT or if you are applying through an international system, you can select international as you can see in the example, and then you can select the overarching system from there. If your system is not in the international section, most likely it is in a specific country. On the language proficiency, you can write in various English exams if you have the score, and you can write in your native language as well for our information. In this page, you can select the program of your choice. Please remember that at Sabanj University, we do not accept you to a single program, but you'll be able to choose the program of your study after you begin your education at the university. So there are no specific faculty requirements, so you can choose as many programs as you want. For the scholarship section, please select if you want a scholarship, and at the bottom you can add information about how you're going to be financing your education at this university. If you require a specific level of scholarship, you can also use this section to write the information. Finally, we come to the section of uploading your files. You will be asked to upload specific files like your photo, your tests, your transcripts, your diploma, if you have it. Please make sure to follow the guides specified under each file, uh, especially the file types and the file sizes. Do also remember that if you are unable to upload a specific file during your application, you can always send it later on with email to one of our admission team members. Please note that some of the documents that are asked here are optional. So if you do not have access to your diploma at the moment, or if you do not have access to your final transcripts, do not worry. You can upload the versions of the documents that you have, or you can leave the sections empty if necessary. Only the sections that have a red star next to them are mandatory. Another question that we get very often is about the passport. Please note that if you do not have a passport, you can also apply with a national ID, just as long as the language is written in Latin alphabet letters. In this section, you only have to mention if you have applications to other universities. 
This is an important section. If somebody has assisted you in filling out the application, please mention this. This could be a family member, but for us, the most important information is if a third party, such as an agency or any other assistant, such as a school counselor, has helped you with your application. If you select yes here, the section below will open up and ask for further details about the person who helped you in the application. Please make sure to write the email accurately, as we might need to get in contact with these third parties. Here you will have to agree with a certain few legal uh, statements. Here you're basically confirming that the information you've provided is correct. Please make sure to read all the text here and agree. Once you click Certify and Submit, you will be taken to the final step of the application. Please note there is a $30 application fee to apply to Sabanji University. Until you make this payment, please remember that your application will not be finalized and as such you will not be evaluated by the university. Once you have completed the application, one of our recruitment specialists will be getting in touch with you within the next 24 hours. Every applicant at Sabanji University is automatically evaluated for a scholarship, so please note that you do not have to make a separate application to be considered for a scholarship at the university. During your communication with our recruitment specialists, your scholarship expectations will be asked, so you can also communicate your needs to our recruitment specialists during the application stage. Once your application has been found to fit the university's criteria, you will receive an email confirming that your application has moved on to the faculty evaluation stage. Once the faculty has made its admission decision, you will receive your acceptance letter via email and your acceptance letter will also have your scholarship information attached to it. We usually give students several weeks to make the application decision and to confirm that you have accepted the offer which you have received, you will have to pay an amount of 1,500 US dollars to the account information that will be sent to you in the acceptance letter that you receive. Once you've made the payment and confirmed that you've accepted the offer sent to you by Sabanji University, there's nothing else that you have to do until you receive information about us about the registration, orientation processes and arrival information. The university is going to send you several emails, including a very detailed guide, detailing every single step that you have to follow during your journey to Sabanji University. Please make sure that you check all of these emails, follow the guide carefully, and fulfill all the required documents that you will need to bring to Sabanju, whether it be for your equivalency application, your registration to the university itself, or other legal procedures that you might have to go through. So thank you guys for watching. We hope that you found the video useful. If you have any questions, you can always reach us. You can find our contact information on the screen at the moment. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Hopefully, we are looking forward to receiving your application and also to seeing you at Sabanj University come the fall semester. See you then.